Hi guys! I have never done a haul before, so if this is kind of rough, I apologize. Please bear with me, I am trying to get the hang of things. Um, so, some of this I've been holding on to for a while. Uh, and some of it I just bought, but it has been sitting on my desk and collecting dust, so I gotta put it away and I got a couple things that I really want to use, so I figured I was gonna do a haul for you guys. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna start with Sticky Essentials. Um, this has probably been sitting on my desk for the longest. I um, bought this about a month ago. Or I bought it, it arrived about a month ago, and stuck on the corner of my desk, and it's just been sitting there. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you from this is this cute Thanksgiving art, and I have a problem. Um, I bought this kit twice. <laughs> Um, I placed an order, and this was one of the kits I bought, and then I placed another order, thinking that I didn't buy this yet, and I did. So now I have two. Um, and I still love it, I still think the art is beautiful, but I don't really need two. Um, I don't see myself using it again next year. Uh, I love that scene box though. Oh, that scene box is beautiful. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one. Um, I don't think there's a buy sell trade for sticky essentials, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I also got this really cute Christmas art. Um, again, I have a spending problem because I bought this exact same art from a different shop. So now I have two of these kits just different from, from different shops. Um, I mean, I guess that shows you how much I love the artwork. Um, and I'm probably going to use the Sticky Essentials one, this one, in my planner this year. And I'll just hold on to the other one for next year. Um, but I really love these more uh, traditional colors for my Christmas spreads. Um, I like the dark green and bright red. Just... When it comes to Christmas, I... Definitely not one of my favorite holidays, but I prefer a more traditional style. Um, so I like the the greens and the reds, and I'm not a big fan of the. I'm not a big fan of a lot of the Christmas art that comes out because it's usually very pastel. Um, tends to be like a lot of like pink Christmas art. Um, that's just not my thing. Um, and finally, the reason I originally placed this order was for this gorgeous, gorgeous anniversary kit. Um, yeah, so my partner and I don't usually, like, we love celebrating our anniversaries, but we don't usually do anything, like, big like this. We don't like go to a fancy restaurant or anything. Also there's a marriage certificate, we're not married. Um, so I'm probably gonna like hold on, it's like when I use the cat, I'm probably gonna hold on to like that box and like hoard it until we do get married. Um, so like, I don't know, I'd love to save this for like when we do like a big anniversary like celebration thing. like dress up and go out. I don't know. Um, I just, obviously you don't have to like 
match the kit perfectly to your week. I just, I don't know, I feel like it would be like a good excuse to use this kit. I'm like, baby, we have to like have a nice fancy anniversary celebration so it fits with my planning kit. <laughs> um, yeah. It also comes with this dude box, planner dude box. Um, I didn't know it came with these boxes and they're so cute. I'm so in love. Oh my god, it's, oh, it's so cute. Um, I will buy any, like, artwork that's just anniversary style I guess not just I just love love so much and I love using like special kits to mark our anniversaries um we will probably always celebrate like our monthly anniversary we don't usually do anything like big to celebrate our monthly anniversary but we always like do like a little celebration and, um, we celebrate, like, our happier anniversary and stuff like that. So, I always like using special kits to mark, like, any kind of, like, anniversary. Um, this is the Scribble Pins Co. Mystery Kit. It is, oh, hold on, December 2020 Mystery, so if you don't want to see that, um, fast forward. Uh... But here it is. Here's the artwork. Um, I could have sworn someone said that it was an anytime kit. And this doesn't really scream anytime kit to me. It's more of like a home reno or like moving in kit. Which I've wanted like... A moving kit so badly and I just I wanted the up kit because I just that fits me and my significant other so perfectly and I didn't get it and it completely sold out and then I just didn't like any of the like moving art so I haven't I haven't purchased any kind of moving kit so this is um, gonna fit in nicely into my collection the colors aren't really my thing, but, um, I do love the artwork. Um, I love this girl so much. I think, oh, she's so cute. I just, I love overalls, like, I love overalls so much. I don't know, that's probably really stupid. Um, also, I love this house double box. That is my dream house right there. I'm guessing this is a garage, but I love the idea of having like a whole like part of my house that's window. Um, I just, it's beautiful. You know, it kind of reminds me, this is gonna be like, it's so stupid. It kind of reminds me of the house from Twilight. Uh, so, <laughs> I, I guess that, shows like how stupid and nerdy I am um and then it came with gold foil so you get this matte gold box the deco um cutout icons food circle icons the bottom washi uh the three pages and the script sampler. Um, usually the ultimate kit comes with some other like thing. Um, so I feel like I know I'm getting like a lot of bang for my buck, but I'm almost disappointed because it usually comes with like something else like a journaling card or a die cut or something so I don't know that's just me being like nitpicky um, next thing is I got a couple things from Amazon uh, the scissors I use for my planner are like 
these like really junky um, Scotch brand scissors and I hate pulling them out because I just they're not cute and they're not great so I bought these um, I bought mainly for the purple ones because purple is my jam um, they have like the little sheaths and then they're just like small like precision scissors um, Andrea from School Prince Co. uses scissors similar to these and her playing with me sounds like you know what they look really nice and really easy to use so <laughs> I bought me a pair well, I guess I bought me two pairs and I don't know who I saw use these um I have to figure out how to open it. Oh, oh. I'm just like manhandling this. Hold on. Oh, it's a bag inside of a bag. Okay, that's just gonna be even more. So they are glue sticks. I'm not in frame very well. Um, they're glue sticks, and I saw someone use them to glue stuff down when they were setting up their planner. So like gluing in like die cuts and stuff like that. Um, they really liked them. Well, if I can figure out how to use them. Oh, there it goes. Um, yeah, so they're just like regular glue sticks. Um, I guess I'll talk about them more when I actually use them, but and I wish I could remember who I saw use it, but they really liked it and they weren't that, they weren't very expensive, so I was like, alright, I'll give it a shot. And I don't really have glue sticks, so it was a win-win. And finally, I, oh, I have to zoom you back out, bought a crap ton of rug collection players. So I'm going to show you this one first, or m mostly. I'm going to show you just this one. Um, so, did I zoom out anymore than that? Yeah. So, I use an Oracle Cloud, and I love using that for my planner, but I want to take this year and move it to like a different binder so I can keep using my cloud for 2021. And Kittenish Girl Jess said that the Recollections Planners from Michaels fit the A5 wide. So I went and they were on clearance so I bought three, four of them? Yeah, I bought four of them. Uh, I just I couldn't help myself, so I'm going to put 2020 in this black one. It's a like plasticky leather. Um, I mean, they're not super nice, but you know they get the job done. Um, and the A5 wide inserts do fit in here. I'm gonna set it up more, uh, but I just kind of put it together for. So you can get like an idea. Um, all this deco stuff is from the honeybee shop. Um, oh, there's my hair. It, yep. Um, I think all of them have gold hardware. Um, but it you know, fits the A5 perfectly. Um, I just put the first couple months of the year in. 
so you could see how it fits. Um, yeah. So I don't know if you can see that, um, but there's like quite a bit of room in there. So um, it's not as big as the cloud. So when I put all of 2020 in here, it's gonna be kind of tight, but. You know, it gets the job done and I like it when my planners are chunky so that works for me um, I'll show you with this one so that was the black leather and this one is kind of like a blush pink um, but they all come with monthly tabs inserts um, which is really nice and uh, I took them out of the black one obviously but I'm going to hold on to them, and I'll find, I'm sure I'll find a use for them. Um, I might just keep them and use them for the next couple years so I don't have to buy new tabs. Um, yeah, so, it's the blush pink one. Um, I got this, like, pearly pink. Uh, are the inserts the same? The answers for these two are the same. Um, the ones that came in the black are more neutral. These ones are like BB uh, pink and a powder blue. And the last one I got, um, this one's actually probably my favorite. Um, I decided I was going to put 2020 in the black one because I felt like black was just really fitting for 2020 as a year. But this one is, I don't, I don't know what to call it. It's just, it's very soft. I don't know. Um, it's just like a gray color and it has the more neutral tab inserts. Um, but yeah, that's everything I have. Um, this is a pretty short uh, Hobbit. I might add more pieces to it. But if not, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye! Alright, I'm back with a second haul part. And this is my order from Black Friday. Uh, my order from Scribble Prince Co. Um, they did a 50% off sale, so I went ahead and I bought a bunch of stuff that I'd been looking at that I'd kind of wanted, but like wasn't ready to commit to. Um, so a couple of these, I went ahead and pulled the glitter headers out of their cello so I could stick them with the kits they belong with. Um, but I got the Victoria kit because I am going to end up having to do one more semester at my school to graduate. Um, and I like this kit. I like the colors in it. I like how it's more of a teachery kit. Um, I love this blue color. Not a fan of that bottom washi. I might do something different. Um, this is that, and I also picked up the glitter headers. Put that away. <coughs> I'm also feeling kind of sick today. Um, and I didn't really want to film, but I wanted to put my stickers away. So I was like, alright. I'm just gonna tough it out. Tough it out. And then I got the peony kit. I think I might use this for Valentine's Day. Maybe. Um, oh, there's a Mother's Day box. Ooh. Okay, I might use this for Mother's Day then. Um, 
But I have a thing where I don't usually... I was gonna say I don't vibe. <laughs> I guess that's a good way to put it. I don't really like the Valentine's Day art that's been coming out um, this year and last year. Um, it just seems very mediocre to me. So, I've been trying to get creative with it. Oh, I hope you can't hear that. Um, my cat is clawing at the carpet. I don't want to yell at her. <laughs> I think SBC changed their cellos, but I hate these so much. I feel like I'm being really negative in this video. Um, but I don't like them because they're so tight and it's hard to get the stickers in and out of them. And then I got NYFW? Oh, New York Fashion Week? I don't remember getting that. Um, I've already checked my um, invoice to make sure and it's on my invoice, but this isn't something I would buy, so I don't, I don't know, but I have it now. <laughs> it's, the artwork's really pretty, it's just not my style. Oh, my cat is misbehaving. One second. Okay, I'm sorry about that. It's getting close to her dinner time, so she's being a brat right now, and it's... I don't think it's gonna stop. So if it bothers you, I'm really sorry. Um, maybe I'll get lucky and you can't hear it. Um, then I got, uh, New Year's Eve at home. Um, I'm not gonna use it for New Year's Eve. I'm probably not going to use it for New Year's Eve. I might use it as like a nighttime kit or like a self-care kit. Um, I have some, oh is this an ultimate, it's an ultimate kit so I might have enough boxes that I can omit the um, 2020 and still have enough. That's also like a very like New Year's Eve thing, but I don't think that would bother me. Um, maybe like lazy celebration. <laughs> this sounds like this sounds really stupid. Lazy celebration, um, but that's my vibe. <laughs> Just like I'm gonna celebrate with <laughs> popcorn and pizza in bed. <laughs> I'm also like a huge like eating in bed person. I I feel like that's gonna drive some people like insane. Or like just like the concept of it drives people insane. Um but yeah, I just I love eating in bed. Um and finally I got the Kirsten kit or it's the K kit. Um this isn't really applicable to my life at all. Like, I don't have kids. Um, like, that and that is just, like, very, like, kid-centered. Um, don't like horror movies at all. So, like, it's not very applicable to me, but I just, I love it. I just, something about it just really draws me in. I think it's beautiful. The colors are amazing. Um... Yeah, so this is one of the kits that, like, since it came out, I've been debating whether or not I was going to get it. And then by the time I got onto the website for Black Friday, the mini kit was the only one available. So I was like, alright, I'm going to grab it. I might never use it, but I'm going to grab it. Um, I got two of these foil bundles. Um... 
think this, I think I already have one of these. Um, it has, it's an older format, older format, so it has the corners, um, icons, headers, overlay, um, icons, how icons, and the bottom washing, and like, hold on, can you see how pretty that is? Uh, I love it. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this is the foil I used the week I went to LA. Um, so I still have like my leftovers. Um, anyways, I got two of those. So I think with these two of my leftovers I can pull in to quite a few spreads. Um, when these first came out, I wasn't a fan, and they're slowly just like growing on me. And with the sales, like, all right, I'm gonna get them. I'm looking at them. It looks like it's two different shades of pink. Maybe not. Maybe that's just my eyes. Um, but these two sheets look lighter than the rest. I don't know. That could very much be a me thing. But it's this light pink and it comes with gold foil, you can get headers, um, date covers, flags and bows, circle icons, yeah circle icons, and then bottom washing. I'm also trying to use more stuff like this in my spreads because I have a couple of um, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, I have a couple foil bundles like this that I got in rack bags, I think, and I've just been holding on to. So I've been trying to make an active effort to use them. So this is like a periwinkle, and it's in hollow. I think it would have looked better with silver, but that's me not being a fan of hollow. Um, you get the flags and bows, the headers, date covers, circle icons, and bottom washi. Yeah, that's probably an unpopular opinion, but I'm just not a hollow person. I like more of like an oil slick style hollow. I don't know if that's a style of hollow. Um, but yeah, it's, um, Foxy Fix had, like, a really pretty oil slick foil, and that was my jam. I got a Foxy Fix purely for that foil. It was so beautiful. So this is a pattern. I don't know how well you can see it. Um... I don't want to say I'm going to regret buying this, but I don't think I'm going to use it. I don't know, we'll see. I might use it, mm, maybe in Valentine's Day, maybe. We'll see. Um, we get the headers, date covers, flags and bows, circle icons, and the bottom washi. I'm also aware I'm not great at being in frame. Um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna work on it, I promise. Um, also because this is a Black Friday order, I did get two Cyber Monday bundles, um, one from Scroll Prince Co. and one from Sticky Essentials, so I will do, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a video, um, with both of them. Um, <clears throat> I might do a video, I was thinking about doing like separate videos for each one, but I might do a video with both of them and be like, this is one I think has like the better value. Um, not that I want to like, oh I'm sorry, um, not that I want to like pit the shop to get each other, pit them against each other, I feel like that's not the right word. Um, 
but you know, I feel like they're two of like the most popular shops and I don't know, I, I just think it would be an interesting video. It's a video I would want to see, so maybe someone else would want to see it. Um, so this is a different, it's like a blush pink, um, and it's in gold foil. I got two gold foil. I'm not a gold person. I just love silver. Oh, um, tape covers, flags and bows, circle icons, and then the bottom washi. Um... Yeah, so so far it's my favorite regular foil and then I am absolutely in love with the Lavender Hollow from School Prince Cobalt. I have so much foil. So much Lavender Hollow foil. I have more Lavender Hollow foil than I have Hollow, Sparkly Hollow, and Rose Gold. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, my camera cut me off because the SIM card was full. And my family texted to say they were going to get ice cream in a minute. So now I feel like I have to hurry. Um, so I got a hefty stack of foil, but then I also got a couple vinyl die cuts. So I got the little um, Harry Potter envelope. This super holographic um, ball from Haunted Mansion. Ball is not the right word, but words just aren't working for me today. I'm sorry. And then the purple bat bow, which I love the concept of bats and bows. <laughs> um, and I got the Valentine scripts in silver and gold. Uh, Curve pumpkin, uh, the fall bucket list in gold, and I got it in silver. Um, I got the Harry Potter quotes from, that were part of, like, one of the, like, the pink, pot, Potter pink, something like that. It was, it was a whole bundle, and I bought the kit recently. Like, it's an old bundle. Um, but I bought the kit recently, and since this was on sale, I went ahead and got this in silver. Um, it says, the ones that love us never really leave us, and I really love that quote, um, which is the reason I got it. Um, the other one is, uh, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. Um, I got the travel bucket list in silver and gold. This is why I don't have any like of the other foils. These are like the only two foils I use unless I'm using a specialty foil. Um, I use hollow and rose gold occasionally but not very often. Um, the winter bucket list in silver and gold. Uh, this is the summer bucket list. Yes, yeah, summer bucket list in silver and gold. The spring bucket list in silver and in gold. I'm sorry I'm going through these kind of fast. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but like a dust bunny just ran across my desk. Um, is there two fall bucket lists? Oh, I guess this one's a Halloween bucket list. Um, and this one's a fall bucket list. Um, I got it in silver and in gold. And then... I got this in both silver and gold, um, but they're love quotes. I use love quotes so often, um, because in case you didn't know, I am stupidly in love. Um, it says all of it, and, mm, and suddenly all the love songs were about you. You will forever be my always. You make my heart happy. You are the best thing that's ever been mine. But silver and in gold. And then I have the polka dot 
box overlays in silver and gold. So that is going to be everything for this video. Um, thank you for tuning in and thank you for being patient with me stumbling through this. I hope to make more videos and hopefully they will get better and I won't always be an awkward mess. Thank you. Bye.